Hello everybody! In today's video I am going to be unboxing or opening my package from an order that I just received from Sea Salted Paper. Now this order is a collaboration between Sea Salted Paper and Paper Harbor Co. which if you don't know um, they... Um, Valerie over at Sea Salted Paper is a connoisseur of vintage papers and makes Traveler's Notebook inserts with them. And then Paper Harbor Co. is a vintage paper and ephemera and stationery reseller on um, Instagram. And I think she might have a web shop too, but I'm not actually sure, maybe on Etsy. Um, but I will link everything below for you so that you can find both of these people very easily. But this is my order. This is how it came. I'm so excited to open this. This um, was a, a pre-order purchase and it took Valerie quite a bit of time to actually make everything. So I just want to make sure I'm in frame here. But basically Paper Harbor Co. sent Valerie a bunch of different papers and supplies to use to make Traveler's Notebook inserts with them. And so it was a pre-order, it's super, it's a super awesome collaboration and I knew right away that I had to get in on it. So just on the cover here, we have this really cute tag which is gonna go straight in my journal. And then we've got the notebook wrapped up right here, super cute. And then we have some extra bits right here. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. I was just looking at that in invoice, but let's go ahead and play with this. Let's see what we have in here. Just again, wanna make sure I'm in, in frame. So it looks like on this back, page here we have a bunch of receipts and labels just a bunch of really great paper ephemera these labels are always really exciting to have I love having these bigger labels Then we've got some blank perforated labels, which are great. I might actually turn these into postage stamps, like faux postage. And then another receipt paper there. And then we've got just more cute ephemera bits. I love these, look how cute. These colors are perfect for spring. Got a Denison label and some tickets and then a cute little tab. And then of course Valerie has decorated the envelope and sewn it, which is adorable. I love that. The effort that she puts in to decorate her things is just absolutely phenomenal love this all right so let's put that to the side and step over to this and I just want to I want to save this beautiful twine. But again, the cover is beautifully decorated. We've got a button and some lace and paper. I just love how like textural and like tactile her packaging is. And then another thing that I love that Valerie does is that when she cuts her notebooks, she actually includes the pieces of paper that are cut off from the edge of the papers. And it just becomes more paper ephemera that you can use if you're needing something else. 
and I can already tell this bad boy is thick. <laughs> that is definitely a common thing for Valerie. Her notebooks are always very thick. off of this without ripping the cover. Ooh. Look how thick. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's hand stitched, which is great. Um, but the paper selection in here is incredible. There's so much. Um, so I just, I'm gonna flip through this, but I actually had the great honor of meeting Valerie when I went to San Antonio in February. And um, she is such a lovely, lovely woman and is pregnant now. And is expecting her first child with her husband and um, she this I think is going to be her last collaboration or um, like major shop launch because she's gonna be a mother and she is just taking the time to slowly uh, absorb that change in her life so I'm not sure if she's closing her shop permanently or if it's just a temporary thing but as I understand it this was the last major um, collaboration slash notebook like creation that she was doing I know that she is currently uh, preparing for her last like shop launch she is making a bunch of different paper packs to sell in her shop and then I think Basically, once she sells everything that she has listed and is comfortable with selling, I think she's pretty much done. So, um, like I said, I will leave all of the information down below so that you can be a part of that if you are interested, depending on when you watch this video. <laughs> so, there is that. And then it obviously repeats itself but what a great combination of different kinds of papers and I'm actually I'm actually glad that it, not everything is gridded or ledgers I'm glad that there's like regular paper in here because I feel a little bit more comfortable with blank pages being able to write on them and use them. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this notebook for, but I absolutely had to have it. But it's nice to know that the papers that are included will be easy to write on and not super intimidating. So I'm super, oh, I love this look. Oh, I think I got lucky with this. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> oh man. This is lovely. Absolutely love. And the edges are very nicely cut. I know that there were, um, I know her previous notebooks, they were just um, like rawly cut, but for her past couple of notebook releases, she actually did purchase an industrial paper cutter so that her, ed her edges would be straight and fine and Holy moly, I feel for her hands. Like, I just, I, my hands hurt for hers. Imagining what it must have been like to push a needle and thread through all of this. It just seems very painful. <laughs> um, but all in all, a very beautiful product by a very beautiful woman. And I cannot wait to sit down and actually use this one day. I've got quite the collection of her notebooks and it's almost sick, but I just, I love them so much. So I will link everything down below that you may might need to, um, to get information on all of this, but um, yeah, 
So that's going to be it for me. I hope you have enjoyed this quick little peek into my very spontaneous random purchase. I think I purchased this back in April. April 24th is when I purchased this and today is June the 14th. So I have been waiting for quite a while and I'm very pleased. <laughs> so that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.